characteristics a possible leader of our country would have. Honest, respectful, strong, focused. Well, we're going to see what, how the opposing sides view Donald Trump's characteristics. It is being debated whether or not Donald Trump would fulfill his duties should he be elected the Republican candidate for president. The three main issues I'm going to cover is his demeanor, his faithfulness to his party, and his background. First off, some perceive his demeanor as unrefined since he's so straightforward. He tends to just say whatever he wants and doesn't really care what people think. He's made some racist and often, often sexist comments towards certain people. And CNN reported Trump saying, Rosie is crude, rude, obnoxious, and dumb. Other than that, I like him very much. And that was towards Rosie O'Donnell. They have an ongoing feud, and he tends to just say whatever he thinks about her. Don't even care what happens after that. And then others perceive his straightforward demeanor as honest and trustworthy. Um, a lot of politicians try and fit in this cookie cutter mold and say whatever they think the public wants them to say. And Trump just says whatever he wants and doesn't care about the consequences, which can be perceived as honest. The second thing I'm going to cover is his faithfulness to his party. Some think Trump isn't very faithful to his party since he has switched parties. Um, and he joined the Democrats in 2001, and then he switched over to the Republicans in 2009. He left the Republican Party in 2011, only to return again in 2012. So since he switched, people tend to wonder, is he really for the Republican Party? Is he you know, going to switch again, possibly in the future, since he already did it once? And then others say that he's very loyal to the Republican Party, since, especially since he signed a loyalty pledge to the Republicans this past week on Thursday. This pledge states that if he is not elected the Republican candidate, he can't go off on his own and make a third party. So he has to stick with the Republicans for the whole time. And David Jackson from USA Today reports, I have no intention of changing my mind, Trump said during a news conference in the lobby of his corporate tower in New York City. I see no circumstances under which I would tear up that pledge. So he has stated that he tends to stick with this to the very end. And since it's a written document, it's a lot harder for him to break it other than like a verbal agreement, which he could easily just, you know, make a lie, say he didn't really mean it. And then the third and final thing I'm going to cover is his background. Many say, like, since he doesn't have a government background, that he's not really suited for president, and he has no past military experience or anything like that. And James Fallows from The Atlantic states, the number of presidents between number one and number 44 who took office as Trump would with absolutely no elective, appointed, or military experience is zero. So nobody else has been elected like Trump which he has no political experience or military experience. And by no one else being elected like this, it shows that the public isn't really for someone that hasn't had any experience previously. So he, he might not be the best choice. On the other hand, some people believe that his huge business background could be of great benefit to our country, especially <coughs> since we have large amounts of debt. And um, on the building, 400 Wall Street. He bought this building for $1 million and he renovated it for $35 million. And now today it's the tallest building in downtown New York worth $500 million. So he's good at what he does and he has a lot of good business background. It could greatly massively help our country with this tremendous amount of debt that we have on our shoulders. Um, in conclusion, the three main points of demeanor faithfulness to his party and his background tend to just be thrown up in the air. People, these are the main things that people want to see. And there are many issues contributing to this debate on whether or not Donald Trump would make a good Republican candidate. And people are very polarized on this issue and probably will continue to be polarized on it until the final outcome in the presidential campaign.